Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going I'm going to show you how to model a trammel of Archimedes using OnChip. This is a great project for anyone who wants to learn more about 3D modeling and geometry and animation. So, let's get started. All right. I'll take that over here. And start in the part studio with a um, simple sketch on the top plane, a center rectangle, pressing Alt for equal relationship between that side and that side. Give that a dimension of. 122 and extrude that with um let me check on my original part 18 millimeters 18 all right um call that base Give that some distinctive color, maybe that one. And make another sketch on the top face. Sand a rectangle, all right. Look at it from the top. Make two of those connecting to the outside. Make those two edges equal and give them a dimension of let's say 22 all right 22 that's it 22 now exit that sketch go into isometric view and cut in there, remove those five regions. How much? Let's say eight millimeters, all right? All right. That's it for that part. Start another sketch on that bottom plane with a center rectangle coincident right here. Connect that to that edge coincident. That one coincident. Overall dimension is 44. All right. Extrude that to that face here as a new body. Okay. Call that slider, slider, and give it some. color like that. Okay. Then um, make another sketch. Um, that'll be a circle. Sketch on that face. Circle here. I mentioned that to uh, 12. Okay. Extrude that. Um, with uh, six millimeters. All right. Now, um, we want to animate that thing. We want to 
go into the assembly. So um, let's create some mates here. Origin will be right here. And we want to use the slider mate. So let's use that edge to indicate where we want the Z axis to, to run. All right. So I'll call that um, mate connector here. Rename base one. All right. Let's hide that. Hide that. Show that slider and define a appropriate um, mate on that. Realign that with that axis. All right, you see the, the blue Z axis going in that direction. Great. All right, so we got those two. Um, rename that um, slider, slider mate. And um, let's have a look at that in the assembly. So insert the base part. Oops. Okay. We see our mate connector here. We can fix that any way we want. So base is fixed and insert the slider. Okay, now, okay, so we get that slider made right here. Take that, take that made connector, take the one from the base, accept that, exit, and see, so that's what we want, right? We want another one of those in that direction. We can insert it right now. But we do need um, that mate connector that runs here in that axis. So let's go back to the part studio. Hide that slider. With uh, pressing key, I hide that mate and make another one here. Realign on that axis. All right, so that is that. I'll call that base two. Base two. All right, go back to the assembly and and the base. We're going to hide that one. We get that one. And connect that again with the slider mate. That one and that one. All right, let's see how that goes here. Great. Okay, so um, we got that grip or that arm or how you want to call it. And we're going to. Um, model that here in the inside assembly environment with that create part studio in context. Um, let's rearrange the positions of our two sliders. So in the part studio, we add it um, with the move option the Z axis at 61. Remember that we had that overall length 122. 61 is right on that edge here. All right, we go back to the assembly. 
and we get our two blocks positioned like that. I press K just to hide the mates. And now we go into the Create Part Studio and Contacts option here. And while we take that as the origin and our assembly environment transforms, so to say, in the Part Studio, I press P to hide those planes. And I start a sketch on that face, projecting that edge and that edge. Then I'll offset those with uh, three millimeters, that one as well, with uh, three. Then uh, center rectangle, I'll place the origin of that rectangle here. And one edge here. All right. Everything's defined. Make a circle somewhere in here and make those sides tangent to our rectangle. All right, everything's fully constrained. We exit that sketch and go into extrude. And let's extrude. Those regions and define them within the context of the assembly to that face. All right. Um, let's have a keep that sketch visible and do another extrude here. 16 is enough, right? All right. Um, call that part um, grip or handle and edit the appearance to some green, maybe. All right. So we switch back to the assembly and need to define where that um, part is positioned. And that'll be defined by a revolute mate. And we will define the mate connectors within the assembly. So. Um, go into Revolute, hover over that edge, take that, hover over that one, and great. And now for the next one, take that edge, take that edge, and that's it. All right, so... Um, what's next? Um, animating the whole thing, right? So, Revolute, Animate, maybe Loop, and go with it. And there you have it. The, the Trammel of Archimedes. I hope you like that.